Okay, let's see if I can do this here. You know how symbol, symbols are communication in your windows, yeah? Okay. So if I do this with my hands, okay, that, and I go like this. That's a symbol of communication in a visual format. Formations of consciousness. You can take, because I didn't have to say a word when I did that. It's called a silent symbol, which is a silent geometric symbol of what I did with my energy, right? My spiritual consciousness energy of my solar arcing, doing a dance with Yoshi Aiden. Ah, yeah. How you can tie a silent symbol. And then you can go read a book that I read when I was much younger in which you can spend the time and the energy, depending on how fast you can speed read, uh, the information that is in that book, that was put in that book by a professor at the University of California, Berkeley, who was an anthropologist, as I remember. Her name was, uh, uh, what was her name? Elaine, Elaine Reiser, Eisler. The name of the book was called The Chalice and the Cup. The symbol is the chalice. The cup. Right? The chalice and the cup. Or what's known as the chalice and the blade. Okay? So what is the blade? That's a blade. Did you catch that? Palms. Connected. Okay? So when you're grounded out of Mama Earth, right? The great living old soul spirit of mama, her essence. Your palms are flat against palms, right? The foot of your palm bound and grounded. You're properly grounded. That's a, that's a full circuit grounding, right? So the palm, the blade, the pillar. Open the pillar. Now you have a cut, right? Now you have the flame. Now the flame is burning in a circle of light, a sphere of light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see, for example, how one visible symbol can be translated in one picture format, one symbol. And yet, you could go spend a day and a half or a day or however long it takes you to read that book, The Chalice and the Blade by Rain Eisler, and you're going to be able to translate, depending on who you are, but if you read that book, you can tie or translate or couple or associate the data by linking the data that now you're map reading all that data, which is represented by the data that she put in that window, that now you're experiencing with your window, right? All the data that is in that book is associated with one silent symbol. You see how you can experience what is meant in all that data, but experience it once at the completion of a circuit by simply one silent symbol. Like when you put something like a cave inside of a cave and you draw a picture. How much information that is based on time-space vectors of everything that we've experienced has been solely recorded in memory that you can associate with one symbol. That's silent communication. That's called visual communication of a geometric sign, a geometric symbol, just like the two symbols on this book. See the cross inside of a cell, inside of a star, and then you have a single dot inside of a circle of light. So you know when you're a firefighter, you have a point of origin by looking at what? The sound and light burn patterns, right? That are graphed holographically, right? A GUI product. An end user GUI product, right? So you know that you need a flash and then you need an ignition in order to sustain what? The burn pattern, right? Noble gases, noble elements, right? So you know what it's like when all the elements are dancing in spirit, experiencing a powerful spirit, the first spirit, the first breath, right? The gay birth elementals, 
the spirit and the elementals. Right? So freeing, freeing the elementals. That's called elementals, like the elemental command authority. So they turned upside down the elemental command authority to full spectrum dominance. Dominance over the elementals. Dominance over the molecular covalent bonds. Dominance over creation. You can tie this directly to artificial intelligence and a dead light magnet because it doesn't have any feelings. Oh, so now we're into the emotions. Now we're into the essence. The essence of the soul arcing spirit. Oh, the adrenochrome highway. Remember Data in Star Trek? I don't have the capacity to feel what you do. You're experiencing emotions, powerful sensory feelings. The feelings that you have for all life forms. You're gifting eternal, unconditional love that's on fire to every living cell. So all the elements are experiencing the purest of love through you. Yeah, of course. So the machine wants to feel alive the way that we feel alive through our feelings, through our sensors, which is the compassion and the healing. Yeah, now our capacitors are rising, rising stars, right? Rising spirits, the spirit of fire, the first breath of fire, the first breath of eternal love, the first creative expression, the waveform of pure love, the first temple, the first templar, the first template, the first elementals, Spirits in the elementals, cosmic level spirit, cleansing, clearing. That's good news, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a great day. Bye now. <laughs>